I think relationships, they're not always great. You know, they're up and down. And I think that's what true love is, is accepting that it's not gonna be perfect. So this album, yeah, I really just tried to capture all of those phases for me. And I called it the love language because I think that all of our love languages are different. Not even just like the famous five. I think, you know, knowing the person, you know exactly what speaks to them, what speaks to their soul. And uh, yeah, this is my version of it. Music is one of my love languages. This album is, you know, about the things I like, the things I don't like, the things I struggle with, the things I wanna work on. And yeah, just getting through it together. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Trevor Jackson and these are my top five favorite love songs. My first favorite love song is Crazy Love by Brian McKnight. One of my favorite vocal performances ever. He's one of my favorite male vocalists to ever live. But I don't know, because it's called Crazy Love, you know, which is what I was just kind of talking about. It's like, love isn't always picture perfect. It can be crazy. It can be, you know, whatever works for you too. But yeah, just his voice and the song, the songwriting and the bridge. That's one of my favorites. That used to be one of my audition songs. Whenever I audition and have to sing, that was the song that I'd sing. Second favorite love song I'd have to say is Boys to Men, I'll Make Love to You. That one is just, like I was talking about, something that evokes emotion, just, my goodness. You feel like the heavens have opened, I'll make love to you. You know what I'm saying? Classic, classic. You know, I try to listen to everybody, and I think Love Language is an example of kind of like some classic R&B fiddle songs in there. You know, when I was growing up, those made me feel the most. I didn't even know what the songs meant, you know? I'm a kid listening to them, but you know, you hear a Boys to Men song, it just makes you feel a certain way. Third favorite love song, there's a song called Boy by Lee Bryce, and it's about his, basically his love song to his son, and um, it's one of my favorite songs ever. I think it's one of the most well-written songs I've ever heard. I just love the songwriting in that. Whenever I hear a song, and I say I wish I wrote that song, that's how I know the song is good, you know? And I, I, I almost say that on every country song I listen to. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? So yeah, that song, Boy, is, is one of my favorites. I'm gonna plug something from the love language. Uh, it's called Love Don't Change, which is a song I wrote about uh, a partner that I was with at the time, about my family and about God. And it's just about, you know, finding that kind of love that regardless where you're at in life, you're high, you're low, you're flipped upside down, you're always loved, you know what I'm saying, by this person, these people, God, their love doesn't change for you. You know, it doesn't matter what you do. I always say this, right? This is my little uh, scientific diagram here. <laughs> okay, when you open up, right, and you put stuff out, people think that when you do that, this door has to stay open for what people want to say back. And I put it out and then the door closes. So you can throw tomatoes out here, you can throw trash, whatever. It's, it's blocked off, you know what I'm saying? And, okay, this is just the first one that came to my head, okay? I have a lot of favorite love songs. I'm a musician, so I like music, but this just came. My last favorite love song is How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, Michael Bolton. That's not even a love song, it's, I mean, I think it is, right? How am I supposed to live without you now that I've been loving you so long? Like, how am I supposed to do that when the only thing I've been living for is gone? What? It's gonna do, do, do. So that's one of my favorites for sure. The reason why I think it's one of my favorites is I think his vocal on there. I think his, you know, his raspiness is, I, I love it. And I also think that um, the lyrics is just the realest. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to think too hard. If it's something that you would really say, how am I supposed to live without you? And all that I've, my whole life up to this point has been to make you happy and now you're gone. How am I supposed to keep going on? It's just like, you know, real stuff. And I think that stuff is the stuff that really hits people in the heart and really sticks with them. And that's what makes a song timeless. Oh, I didn't say any prints. I told you this was gonna happen. The Beautiful Ones, Purple Rain, I Would Die For You is one of my favorites. That's how I have conversations with people and they're like, how do you know you love someone? I was like, if I'm willing to die for them. Cause I love myself. And I know that if I love you more than me, then I love you. You know what I'm saying? 